Charlie can be used for various neonatal simulations established in the neonatal resuscitation program guidelines and include NG tube placement, intubation, CPR and defibrillation, PIC line placement, IV injections and withdrawals, IV infusions, chest tube placement, umbilicus catheterization, and fluid infusion, urinary catheterization, administering rectal medications, performing rectal temperature checks, intraosseous leg infusion, pulse features, and incubation heat compatibility. Placing the NG tube. Charlie's left nostril may be used to practice NG tube insertion and care with tube placement only and no fluids recommended. Generously lubricate the recommended eight French NG tube with the lubricant provided. Feed the NG tube through the left nostril and follow general practice guidelines to place the tube. Intubation. Charlie allows for normal intubation and advanced or difficult intubation skills to be practiced. A number one blade and a standard 3.5 millimeter ET tube or number one LMA is needed to practice airway management skills. Always be sure to generously lubricate the recommended equipment with the lubricant provided. Gently slide the blade into the mouth and depressing the tongue to view the airway. Insert the ET tube or laryngeal mask airway following general practice guidelines to place the tube. Then you will ventilate the infant airway simulator using a bag valve mask following general practice guidelines. Practicing CPR and defibrillation. Once you have set up and connected Charlie to the interactive ECG simulator, you will turn on the interactive ECG simulator by pressing the on off button. When turning on the ECG simulator, the default selections are the adult age group and normal sinus rhythm. Press the age group button to select pediatric rhythms. Next, press any of the rhythm buttons to select the rhythm for the scenario you are, you are running. The rhythm will be displayed on your AED monitor. To convert, select the initial rhythm to display and then press the convert button. Select the rhythm to display after conversion. This rhythm will be blinking. Shock the mannequin using industry standards for infant defibrillation. Using 20 joules of energy are enough to convert and do not go over the industry standard. After shocking Charlie, the blinking rhythm will turn solid on the interactive ECG simulator and will be the rhythm displayed on your defibrillator or monitor. CPR may also be performed on Charlie. Follow all local or national CPR standards for infants.
pulses. To perform a pulse check on Charlie, gently pump the inflation bulb to activate the pulses as desired in any of the seven functioning pulse sites. Performing intravenous injections and blood withdrawals, Charlie's right hand and right foot are equipped with functional IV access and infusion practice support. Follow all included instructions to prepare for injections, infusions, and withdrawals as identified in the instruction manual. For blood sampling, using one of the included 25 gauge needles, follow institution guidelines to perform blood withdrawals in the hand or foot. Flashback will occur when the needle is in proper position. Intravenous injections. Before practicing injections, follow included instructions for blood and bag setup. Using distilled water only to simulate cleansing the IV site and performing injections or withdrawals. Using any other fluids or harsh antiseptics is not recommended as they could stain or cause damage to the simulator. Using the 25 gauge needle with syringe, follow institution guidelines to perform injections in the hand or foot. Umbilicus. The umbilicus may be catheterized through the vein or the artery. With the reservoir already filled, you may lubricate the catheter and follow institutional guidelines to withdraw blood. To infuse fluids, leave the reservoir empty and follow institutional guidelines. The maximum cavity capacity is approximately five cc's of fluid. Urinary catheterization. The interchangeable genital inserts are for catheter placement practice only and not designed to deliver or eliminate fluids. Select either the male or female genital insert and fit into the body of Charlie per previous setup instructions. Lubricate a five French straight urinary catheter and insert following institutional guidelines.
administering rectal medications and performing a temperature check. The anal opening of Charlie may be used for the administration of rectal medications in suppository form or performing a simulated rectal temperature. It is recommended to avoid infusing fluids. Always lubricate anything that will be inserted into the rectum with the supplied lubricant. Intraosseous infusion. Charlie's left leg incorporates an interosseous infusion feature. Install the pre-filled bone and foot skin over the leg per previous instructions. Palpable landmarks include the patella and the tibial tuberosity. Any commercially available intraosseous device may be used to place the needle. A blood fat flashback will occur when the needle is properly inserted. Bones can be punctured multiple times before replacement. Heat. Charlie is also heat compatible and can be placed in an incubator for added realism to any infant neonatal resuscitation program simulation. Practice all of the essentials of neonatal resuscitation with this simple simulator, as well as any birthing scenario using Charlie. Are you ready?